couple questions on the interviews. How many of them did he grant you? How long did they go? Were there any challenges there? Uh, and then one, why did you pick the warehouse setting for the one for the one interview? So so there were two interviews. Uh, they're roughly two hours each. So there was one interview that we focused specifically on on the football. And then in the other interview, uh, decided to focus specifically on life after football, because in many ways, like this is an hour long doc. It could have been three hours uh, because Jim's life. You know, you have football, um, you have Hollywood, which is which is an often forgotten part of, of his story where, you know, in, in reality, Jim was the first black action star and was that for about a decade. Um, so you have that. And then obviously we know the work that he's done uh, in the social justice uh, sphere. Um, you know, the work's bringing the Bloods and Crips together, um, you know, in some ways uh, being a, a big brother to Muhammad Ali, which I didn't even realize when, when the, when the, when the uh, project started. Um, you know, we saw a little bit of that in, in the, in Regina King's uh, great film that, that just came out one night in Miami, where, you know, we think, we think Muhammad Ali and we think this, this fully developed icon, but seeing that there was somebody that he actually looked up to and deferred to and kind of guided him, uh, was, was eye opening and, you know, uh, a great story from, from this particular doc, uh, I wanted to interview uh, Muhammad and his wife, Lani, uh, for this project. And by that point, Muhammad wasn't doing any, any, any more interviews. And during production, and his, his wife, Lani, she agreed. Uh, during production, um, unfortunately, tragically, he passed away. So I, I, I just assumed that, that his wife was going to end up passing on the opportunity as well. And I hadn't followed up and I hadn't reached out to, you know, to all, you know, pay my respects and make sure that, you know, that I wasn't doing anything that was out of pocket. And I ended up getting an email from her asking when we we're going to do the interview. And I was shocked. I was like, she still wants to do the interview. And, and that gesture alone, and then talking with her about Jim's relationship with Muhammad, it clicked and I understood why. She had so much respect for Jim and their relationship that she still wanted to do the interview. Uh, and that, that, look, that tells you everything you need to know about Jim Brown. Amazing. Amazing. Now I know Jim, you touched on in the film, uh, you know, he kind of had a temper. He's a little bit surly of a guy. Um, you know, <laughs> how tough was it, you know, interviewing Jim and, you know, did you, did you feel any of that intimidation? He's a very intimidating uh, figure. Not, not really. Um, again, I had known him. I, 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 I had been around him. Uh, enough over the previous years um, to to not be you know not be intimidated, um, but intimidate. I, I think intimidated might be the wrong word. There's obviously a respect, and there's a high respect factor. You know, not only with Jim, but with a lot of these these iconic figures that we that we do interviews with. I mean, you know, Seth. I know that you do a lot with with you know with Bob Costas and you know and and other legends and icons that you know that we grew up watching and wanting to wanting to emulate and there's a respect factor um, and there is, there is an awe. Um, uh, but I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if I was in, intimidated or, or if I ever do get intimidated um, just because I think that I'm just so comfortable in, in doing what I do. Um, mm -hmm. and, and Seth, I, I, I would think just kind of knowing you as long as I've known you and, and talking to you, uh, you're the same way. Um, like we, 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 know we know how to interview how to interview somebody and we're, and we're comfortable and we, we and we come in prepared for for these particular these particular interviews so um i think the key is just being prepared um and if you're prepared um and there's a respect factor and there's a respect factor on both ends then which there was um i felt i felt comfortable i felt like i was in good hands um and uh i will say this though <laughs> i will say this <laughs> Is that Jim Brown? You know, even even at this at this at this stage in his, in his life, um, like just looking at him and seeing how big he is <laughs> and how yeah. strong he looks, it's like I couldn't imagine trying to like tackle that guy when he was like twenty or thirty. But even at eighty, yeah. I'm like, this is a this is a big guy. And, yeah, and, and I think I saw him in guy. Miami. I saw him in Miami like ten years ago. And he was like jacked. Yeah. 
Yeah. And he, yeah. it, it, I, I saw him at like a market and he was just like, he, you know, people were just like, we're not talking to this guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he looks tough. Yeah. yeah. They're just, they're just physical. Yeah, about about him. Him. yeah. But that's the other thing too. And you hit on it, on it, Seth. It's not just being physically big. It's just, it's just an aura. It's just, uh, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just this, this thing where, you know, when he travels, you know, and, and you're you're in the presence. You're like, okay, man, I, I I get it. And there's very there's very few people that I've been around that are that are like that or that are just presences where you're like, man, this is this is this is just on a different level. I remember I was in a I was at a Super Bowl one year. I think it was in Houston, and um, and like there's there's very few moments just doing this as long as I've done it where I just have to stop. Like, man, this is this is crazy. But I was at a Super Bowl uh, party. And it's this huge room and Shaquille O'Neal comes into the room and everybody's like, oh, my God, it's Shaq. And everybody's looking at people like, you know, with the, with the pictures. And then on the other side of the room, Yao Ming comes into the room and it's Yao Ming. And so Yao Ming sees Shaq from across the room and they just start coming together. I swear to God, it was like Godzilla and King Kong. And people are just like and like everybody's like this small. You're seeing them come through the. Through the room, you're like, this is crazy. Like, this is not this is not normal stuff right here. Uh, but uh, but but Jim Brown kind of has that has that presence. <laughs> where I've been around him enough times, where I where I just kind of see people look at him when he comes in, and even though we may not get intimidated, you can see other people get intimidated. It's kind of it's kind of funny. <laughs>